Right now, Governor Cuomo is laying down the law in COVID hotspots, either up the enforcement or lose state dollars. Money could be pulled from places like yeshivas if officials don't crack down. Today in New York's Tracy Strayan joins us from Kensington, Brooklyn, where a mobile testing site will be set up today. Tracy, good morning. Darlene, good morning to you. The governor claims he didn't have a choice, so he signed an executive order late last night that gave him authority to withhold funding from schools in COVID red zones like this one that he says have so far refused to shut down. I want to show you some video because this is already drawing a lot of commentary in the hours since it was signed. So far, state COVID rules have mandated that there should be 10 people maximum inside of houses of worship as well as schools that have been shut down. Our camera saw quite the opposite, a flow of students and worshipers inside of schools and synagogues. A photo in Gotham has showed students going in and out of another school, that one in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Now, in a teleconference with reporters last night, the governor said he was sending a letter to Red Zone schools, notifying them in writing of the school closure order, and already another one to number of schools that have been in violation. Those are schools that will lose funding immediately. We will withhold funding from the government. Uh, I don't like to do that. Budgets are tough all across the board. Uh, I don't know how else to get them to actually do the enforcement they need to do. Hopefully, uh, that will motivate them because nothing else I have done has motivated them. Well, this is already getting some pushback from community leaders in red zone areas. They say certain schools just need to stay open, all in order to give children of essential workers a place to go while their parents work. And so far, Governor Cuomo says he expects clusters of COVID to be popping up throughout the state well through next year. We're live in Kensington, Brooklyn this morning. Tracy Strahan, today in New York. Darlene, we'll send it back to you. Uh, Tracy, thank you. On Long Island, a university is moving to remote learning following a number of COVID-19 cases linked to off-campus gatherings. LIU Post says starting today, in-person learning will be paused for two weeks. University officials say the off-campus gathering violated the school's code of conduct. Long Island University's other campuses in Brooklyn, Riverhead, Brentwood, and Westchester County will continue with in-person learning. In the meantime, Marist College in Poughkeepsie, Westchester County is extending its lockdown through at least tomorrow. School has at least 29 confirmed COVID-19 cases. That was linked to an off-campus party. The lockdown in Marist began a week ago, so all classes are being held remotely. However, all students have been told stay on campus, trying to protect people who are off campus from being exposed. Now in New Jersey, you should brace for even longer wait times at those MVC centers. Seven MVC centers are now shut down because a worker in each of those centers has tested positive for COVID-19. They include the MVC locations in Newark and Patterson, North Bergen, Eatontown, and Springfield. Now, unfortunately, this means even longer lines at other centers like this one in Lodi. You can check the facility's location page on the MVC website, and you can find out there which centers are still open.